is about creating that tangible representation of the action that we can do because it's hard to make an impact if you just write a couple of words about something with no one-to-one -one interaction. As part of LFA 2022, we unveiled five new ventures in the Royal Docks as part of the Pews and Purchase design competition with the Royal Docks team. Now in its third edition, this series of five ventures aims to improve London public realm, celebrate emerging architectural talent, and connect people with the buildings and spaces around them. We caught up with each of the winning designers to find out the story behind the ventures. Here, Leroy and Gemma tell us about their bench, What a Water Waste. Hello, my name is Leroy, and I study architecture at the Royal College of Art. Hi, I'm Gemma. I'm currently studying design management at UAL here in London, and we're again studio. And our bench is called um, Water, Water Waste. It's a bit of a mouthful, but that was considered and designed. <laughs> We are w working mostly with um, recycled plastics for our bench and I think our focus or interest come from this contemporary age of design where plastic is consumed in a huge scale as we know it is is highly versatile and almost infamous wonder material this is used in different industry like building and construction packaging transportation or electronics in almost every, everything. And we kind of want to address this plastic wastage and excess by reacting to it and working against it to propose a given future or alternative of, of this um, material. Water Water Waste is a co-creative bench made out of type 2 plastic which is HDPE, um, high density polyethylene. So this type of plastic is mainly milk bottles and, and caps or domestic waste like detergents. And we've collected them from local communities and businesses, um, some family and friends. And last but not least, Recircle, which is a licensed waste carrier and dealer based in the Royal Docks. And they primarily work with plastics. We want to introduce new methods of how to integrate local communities into the shaping and development of community initiatives, such as, you know, gathering these usable waste. But on the other hand, also to introduce new open source knowledge in terms of sustainable and more secular design practices that can integrate the waste of communities and turn it into a sculptural, social, cultural representation of the climate emergency and how we can act against it. And it's not just targeting local communities, but also tourists who visit the Royal Docks because we're all facing this climate emergency together and we want it to be open source knowledge. As I mentioned, you know, plastic recycling in product design has become open source, but it is very exclusive due to the cost of the machines that we use to do this plastic recycling like a granulator to grind up the plastic and sheet press to form and melt these sheets. This very tangible process is what we also want to share with the communities. We, we're privileged enough to have access to uh, machineries in order to make this possible, but I think it's also a process that should be accessible to um, the general public. I think it's just having an impact through something that's tangible because we read about the climate emergency in the news or, you know, statistics about it. And, you know, they said we need to take action. But as a local or just general public who don't engage with these kind of, you know, resources or information in their work, or it's just something that they hear on the news, it's really important to have that tangible visualization and interaction with the material that is a response to a climate emergency because then you get to understand, okay, this is what perhaps can be done. And it's made from a material that, as Vera said, we, we all engage with at some point.
Thanks for listening to this conversation. If you've enjoyed the conversation and would like to listen to more like this, search for Building Sounds on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you find your favourite podcast.